So when we announced Learner version 5.1, a lot of the focus was on speed improvements. So all about like faster task scheduling, more intelligent task scheduling, distributed caching and distributed task execution. And so the main reason is because most of the learning users and most of the learner workspaces mention that as their main concern. So publishing is fine, that works nicely. If you wanna use the learner bootstrapping that is built in, that's fine too, but your learner has also some mechanisms such as to use workspaces, such as Yarn workspaces as an alternative. But speed was kind of an issue, especially as your workspace grew. Now with the optimizations that we did in 5.1 by integrating NX as an additional task scheduling option, there came some nice side effect features. For instance, one of them is a beautiful terminal output that only shows you what is really relevant at a specific moment. So let's have a look at Redwood.js, which is a popular framework and they used to use Learner version 4 and are currently in the process of upgrading to Learner version 5. And so they will not only get the speed improvements, but also more beautiful terminal output. So here we can see running Learner run build on their current repository where they use version 4 of Learner. And you can see how all the commands that are being output here are kind of interleaved between each other. And there's a lot of verbose stuff here that is going on. It's really hard to figure out what is actually going on, what is being built. Now let's switch over to Learner version 5 with the use and X enabled in the Learner JSON. So we can see we run the exact same command here, but now you get a dynamic terminal output. There's, everything is parallelly executed. And so you see the parallelly executed builds at the lower half while the ones that already succeeded on the upper half. And you really see what matters right now. Obviously, if there is an error, you would see it fully printed out and brought to your attention. Also, obviously, caching just works. So if this looks interesting to you and you have already an existing learner workspace, definitely go to learner.js.org. There's a new website, new overhauled guides with more details. So check them out and let us know what you think.